I love that tan tan and snowy. That tan tan is so fun. <laughs> Those two French brothers who are police or something, and the old sea captain. I just love that tan tan. I would put in my top five definitely 40 Days and 40 Nights starring Josh Hartnett. The movie where he gives up premarital sex for Lent. It's pitched as a real Brewster's Million style comedy, and it's gross, and Josh Hartnett gets raped by his ex-girlfriend at the end. So it's not a good movie. I have always said that my least favorite movie is Nothing But Trouble, starring Chevy Chase and Demi Moore. It's a weird attempt to make Texas Chainsaw Massacre into a comedy, and <laughs> uh, it's got a gross performance by Dan Aykroyd as a judge with a penis nose and also a giant baby. I put Food Fight on there. Food Fight is terrible, and it makes you sick to watch it. So, yeah, I would agree with you. That's okay. kind of what happens if, like, a computer animation company wants to make a Toy Story, but based on food brands, mm -hmm. and then runs out of money. Yeah, and they lost half of their work halfway through because someone stole the hard drive, so they had to reconstruct it. But hey, Charlie Sheen does a voice in it, so it can't be that bad. Yeah. For a long time... Our most boring movie was 10,000 B.C., Yeah, uh, so we can throw that one in there. Yeah, that was a Roland Emmerich movie about, I don't know, it was about like... Something that happens 10,000 B.C. Exactly. They're hunting mammoths, or as they call them, Mannix. Yep. Is there a recent movie we watched and wanted to throw ourselves off the roof? Maybe God's Not Dead? That's a pretty good one. God's Not Dead's terrible. Don't ever watch it. I think I had to lie down on the floor while we were watching it because it made me so annoyed that a young man would go to a philosophy course in college and his professor would force him to write God is dead on a piece of paper. And he says, no way. And the whole story is him proving that professor wrong. By the end of it, we know for sure there is a God. And the professor is dying in the street. Presumably going to hell. <laughs> you can only assume.